Suha says, My father loses his temper too soon, and this is very often. I get mad at him for yelling for no reason. How can I help him stay calm? And also, how can I control myself when he loses his temper? So, going back to Suha's question, that my father loses his temper too soon, and this is very often. Now, rage and losing your temper and getting angry quickly, these are all defects, shortcomings, things that must be fixed. And unfortunately, as human beings, we are filled with shortcomings that need to be fixed. And we acknowledge of them. Yet I've noticed that many of us don't put the effort to fix themselves. So now we have a problem. We have a father and a daughter. The daughter is justifying her own rage against her father by her father's mistakes. And this is a vicious loop, a vicious circle. So why are you bad? Because he was bad. Why is he bad? Because she made me bad. And we will never ever end. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? We have to know obligations, duties, and rights. Your father is a father. He's not your sibling. He's not your son. He's not your colleague. He is a father, which means that he has so many rights that you cannot overlook. So if he becomes angry, if he becomes upset, if he loses his temper, if he says abusive words, as a daughter, you must be dutiful, kind, obedient, and respectful. But he's abusing me, he's doing this, he's doing that. Do you have no excuse? First of all, avoid the things that make him lose his temper. Avoid the things that make him angry. And even if he is unjustly angry and loses his temper, keep and maintain your cool. Because at the side of Allah, you are sinful big time if you retaliate or express your disapproval of what he's doing or your anger or your resentment. You're doomed. So first of all, work on yourself. Our problem inflates if we start looking at other people's faults and turning a blind eyes, eye to our own faults. So yes, he has this and that. She has this and that. Okay, what do you have? Oh, no, no, I don't have anything. I may have shortcomings, but this is not of great importance. Let us fix other people. This is wrong. And this shows how weak man is how vulnerable to shaitan messing up with his mind. Misinterpretation, where the oppressor feels oppressed. Why are you invading this country and killing its people? Ah, oh, because I feel that I have to do something. I have to act. So now he's justifying his oppression due to any other reason that would make him go to bed and sleep. But this does not change the facts. So you need to get your act together. He's your father. Try to advise him when he's in a good mood. Definitely avo avoid anything that would make him lose his temper. Definitely do not even express any type of resentment or uh, disapproval of what he is doing. May Allah Azza wa guide us to the straight path.